Okay, let's load the jar and do the test. Open up the incubation jar and begin to fill the jar, being aware of the fill line on the side of the jar, but tapping the compost so it goes to its natural state of density. The next step is to open the Solvita foil pack and take out the test probe. We're going to start with the Solvita CO2 probe. You open by tearing at the indicated mark and reach in gently and remove the paddle. It has a C on it for CO2 test. Now we're going to insert the probe into the sample. This step now is to insert the probe so that you can see it through the outside of the jar. We are going to immediately open the next package, which is the ammonia test, and insert that paddle in a similar way into the sample. You can see both paddles now through the outside of the jar. The test begins when you put the lid tightly onto the jar, as so, and it's a good idea to mark the start time and the identification of the sample here on the lid so that you know when four hours will be completed. I'm back after four hours and we're going to determine the results of the compost test. We can open the jar to take the reading, but first just notice, looking through the outside of the jar, how the colors have changed for both the carbon dioxide test and on this side for the ammonia test. Now we open the jar and we remove each test paddle, first the carbon dioxide one, Basically, what you do is attempt to line the color up with the match on the color chart, and here you can see it's a pretty good match with somewhere between a four and a five. Now we take out the ammonia test paddle, turn over the color chart, and we're going to attempt to line it up with the color here, and we see it's somewhere close to a three. For persons interested in a more precise reading of the Solvita colors, we have the digital color reader. This device enables you to read the colors very accurately. Basically, we insert the test paddle into the DCR, and you see here we're going to select for this the CO2 button, and then we're going to do the reading. The top line on the digital color reader indicates the same color num number that we already determined on the visual color chart, but more precisely. The bottom number indicates the CO2 content in the sample. That's a very interesting number because it tells you how much oxygen has been replaced with carbon dioxide during the four-hour test. Okay, let's now read the ammonia test. In order to do this, you're going to press the ammonia test here and then insert the ammonia probe into the reader and press the read button. This will show the Solvita ammonia color number on the top of the DCR and the second line of information is the amount of nitrogen that's been volatized during the test. Incidentally, you can upload this information directly from the DCR into your PC by using the USB port on the side of it. For proper use and interpretation of the Solvita test, make sure that you refer to the instructional guide that's provided with every test kit. This has several useful indicating tables inside it that enable you to interpret the condition and the maturity of the compost.